Hi everybody, I'm back to do another tag video. Um, I tried tilting my screen so I get a little bit better lighting. Um, still, I'm not too in focus so I don't look that bad. <laughs> no, I, I, I did brush my teeth today, but I didn't do my hair yet or anything because I'm going to get ready for work and I was too lazy to get ready twice, essentially. <laughs> Um, my video that I'm doing right now is the book facts tag, which I got from, uh, I got it from Laurel Wing's channel, and I think she apparently was tagged by somebody else, but I didn't know who that is, and I don't feel like re-watching it, because it's not linked, and whatever, so go to her channel, and it's, the link's gonna be in the down bar, and, and check it out. Um... First book fact question is, how many books are in your collection? Uh, well, <sighs> a lot, but just including the collection I have in my room here on my three shelves, not including textbooks or old kids' books or anything like that, just the books that I own on these shelves is 491. Quite a bit. Uh, if you counted every single book I own, um, probably like at least twice that money. Uh yeah, a lot. Uh number two, what books haven't you read that everyone else has? There are a lot, especially lately because I haven't had as much time to read. But ones that I feel like keep popping up is um Nevermore by I forget who, the Vampire Academy series. I feel like I see a lot on that those are good, but I've never read those not really that much into vampires. I am kind of interested in Nevermore. Like, I'm not sure if I want to read it or not. Um, and then actually the Anne of Green Gables series. I have seen the adaptations and I've read part of the first book. Um, I own it. <laughs> I don't own the rest of the series. Just the first one, Anne of Green Gables. Um, I read part of it when I was in, I think, sixth grade. And then I had to read a different book. So I, and I never went back to it. And then I read part of it again with a child that I was tutoring, but um, they actually moved back to Japan before we finished the book. But I know what happens in the series, I just haven't read through it all. Um, number three, book you were surprised to hate. Well, the book that it, well, there's a couple books that I was that I did not like, that, that I was really surprised to, that I thought I was going to love, is um, Graceling, first of all, which I have done a review on. I was not a fan of that book whatsoever. Um, and then Looking for Alaska by John Green, uh, just because it was such a... Both of them were kind of highly praised, and especially Looking for Alaska. But um, Graceling, I just wasn't a fan of the writing at all. Looking for Alaska, I feel like John Green is a good writer, but I just don't want to read about that subject matter. It's not something that I find entertaining. Uh, number four, what book has a super shocker ending? Well, this is kind of weird, but actually I'm going to say Revolution by Jennifer Donnelly. Not that the ending itself is a super shocker, but just Something that happens near the end of the book, which is totally out of left field, that you would never expect to happen, I feel like could have been different, necessarily. Um, it's still interesting, but if you've read the book, you'll know what I'm talking about. The ending itself wasn't like, oh my god, but just that one part that I'm talking about, I'm just like, what is this? kind of thing doing in here. What? And I can't give it away because it will spoil everything. Um, number five, favorite genre. Well, there's three main genres that I like. Is mystery. Specifically, I like um, golden age British mysteries like Agatha Christie and Dorothy L. Sayers. Plus, go back a little bit further to Sherlock Holmes. I also like Nero Wolf. I haven't read very many modern mysteries. Um, I kind of like the more old school feel, to tell you the truth. Um, classic British literature, uh, 1800s or so, um, pretty much my usual, the Brontes and Jane Austen. I also really like Wilkie Collins, um, some other ones, 
whatever. That's the main thing. And then uh, fantasy, usually young adult fantasy. Um, I like fantasy more than paranormal, but I do read some paranormal as well. Uh, and then some of them are more middle grade than young adult, but whatever, that kind of thing. I've read a couple, like, adult fantasy, like, um, what is it? The, um, Game of Thrones. Uh, which, I like that as well, but I feel like most of the ones that I read tend to be, uh, young adult. Six, what book you can't wait to come out? Um, the next book in the King Chronicles series, which is, does not have a title yet, it should be out in spring. Um, and also the next book to the Heroes of Olympus series, which is going to be called The Mark of Athena, both by Rick Riordan. Uh, I really like those series. They're both middle grade, kind of, you know, independent reader series. I cannot wait for those. And then another one, The Last Artemis Fowl book, which is another middle grade one. <laughs> And I think the title was recently released online, but I forget what it is. I really cannot wait to read those because they're all the last in their series. And I'm just kind of dying to read them. Um, number seven, favorite character of all time. Uh, I love Hermione from Harry Potter and also Harry himself. But Hermione is my number one. Uh, next would be... Of all my Jane Austen characters, probably Anne Elliot. I love her. Number eight. Least favorite character. A no-brainer. Bella Swan and Edward Cullen from Twilight. The series could have been a lot better with better main characters. And some better writing too, but it wasn't terrible. Just those... When you hate the two protagonists um, in the story, it's really hard to like the series. <laughs> Uh, I hated them. And then second would be Jason Clary from, uh, what's it called? The Cassandra Clare series. Mortal Instruments. That's it. Not a fan of them either. I, uh, yeah. Not as bad as Bella and Edward, though. I, uh, comparing the two, Jason Clary look like just wonderful, <laughs> but when you take Belle and Edward out of the picture, you realize, yeah, I, these people are so annoying. I don't like them either. Um, number nine, the last question. Favorite book? Well, the whole Harry Potter series, specifically Deathly Hallows, um, Persuasion by Jane Austen, and then if you include one from my other favorite genre, Mystery would be And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie. It's a really, really good book. <sighs> And that concludes my book facts tag. And I guess because the sun is changing, me re-angling the screen here didn't end up doing much good. But whatever. See you guys later in my next tag video.